In this video I like to show you how the Anonymous check-in app works. So let me move over to the screen. On the main screen is a check-in button and if the user clicks or touch the check-in button he can see the places nearby. Let's say the user is at the John F. Kennedy International Airport in uh, New York. So he clicks on the place and then he's able to write a message. So let's say our user is James, he's working for an NGO and uh, his main topic is climate change and he's looking for someone to discuss, discuss while uh, waiting here at the John F. Kennedy International Airport for his flight. So he clicks on check in now and the um, message, message he just wrote is here on the, on the top. He's able to delete the, uh, his check-in, but it all also expires after uh, one hour. Here on the bottom are all the other check-ins made at the John F. Kennedy International Airport. So we have Andy, he's on the way to Paris and he's looking for someone to talk and to get some tips. Or we have Tina from New Jersey and so on. You can scroll down to find more um, check-ins, etc. So let's say our James here likes to connect with Andy. He clicks on connect and this opens a message board and he can anonymously uh, send a message direct to Andy. So let's say he's writing that he likes to meet or to, to meet him here at the airport and because he spent two weeks with his wife in Paris so they, it, they, this would be a great chance to, to share some tips. So he clicks on connect and, and gets the message and as soon as he writes back um, James get a little notification here, clicks on the in inbox and then you can see that uh, James, uh, that Andy just wrote that uh, they, he, he likes to meet as well and they can, can meet at the, uh, at the uh, coffee corner. So this is the first case, So, but let's say some, uh, so someone saw James check in and he's, uh, he likes to discuss with him about climate change. So in this case, James gave a little notification here. He clicks on the inbox and then he can see the message a uh, student from Copenhagen wrote. He's working on his master degree in climate change and uh, it would be, he'd, he'd love to meet um, uh, James here at the airport. He also uh, uh, sent a link to his LinkedIn profile so James is able to check. So this is it, very easy as you see. So I'm sure the app is a great way to find interesting people at places where you really have time to discuss and to, to, to meet them. I see this app as a kind of a spontaneous door opener. And that's also why we do not store any data longer than one hour. So every check-in expires after 60 minutes and uh, you don't have to care about your privacy and so on. So let me know what you think. Drop me an email with your questions and I'm looking forward to get as many supporters as possible. And if you're interested in more of my projects, just go to clblimited.com. Thank you very much. Bye.